welcome to my channel today we will learn how to read piping isometric drawing and how to how to understand vertical rolling we have this drawing this is vertical rolling first we see where our line going this is our north or front side north right side east back side south left side west this line first going to up then going to east then going to south again up this is vertical rolling you can see this line this is vertical rolling 34.9 after this line going to east you can calculate like this first our this set dimension 350 divided by 500 for answer 0 0.7 you can get a scientific calculator minus 10 0 0.7 equal to 3.9 this is our answer 3 point sorry 34.9 our degree is 34.9 let's we can see how to fit up this elbow and this is full you can see this drawing this is our line going to up I already this uh, this drawing I make it for only for understand how can we fit up this is our gap rod there need 4 mm gap for welding this is cleat for weld we can first uh, this is our pipe 6 6 inch for example this is 6 inch pipe 6 inch CF first uh, we calculate CF 6 uh, 6 inch OD 168 into 3.14 this is our formula for calculate cf cf 527.7 divided by full degree 360 our answer 1.4 this is one degree value 1.4 into 35 our answer is 51.3 we will mark from here 151.3 first we First we mark 6 inch half OD 84 First we mark one center line Again, Then we mark next line here 51.3 dimension from here to here And elbow We can mark like this elbow First to put the one speed level on top And one vertical Then we can measure from here 84 6 inch elbow OD 168 minus half half dimension 84 here one center center we can mark and then directly we can roll this elbow like this this is already I make it we can see this here also I mention how to fit up and 4 mm gap need for welding our degree our length is arc length is 51.3 let's you can see this this is I already fit, fit up in my shop this is 90 degree elbow this is flange this is T reducer but the, this board picture we can only understand how to fit up this is not rolling this is the 90 degree elbow there is no any rolling this is all welding joint every welding joint side we should write WPS number fit up date welder number builder ID line number we should write you can see here yeah, there is already writing we can write like this for EG for the QC this is 90 degree elbow we can see how to fit up 4 mm gap this is cleat for weld or speed level first one put the upside it's speed level are right angle and measure from here to here for example this is 200 we need we need both side 200 both side equal then this is correct if not equal both side this is not correct 
we can fit up like this 90 degree elbow we should check both sides same length example 200 here 2 here 200 here 2 here this is correct if both side unequal we should measuring both sides same this is 90 degree elbow fit up let's see how to calculate this rolling angle in our calculator if this video helpful for you please like and subscribe my channel thank you so much you can take like this Casio scientific calculator press the first shift then minus 10 our length is 350 divided 500 equal to 34.9 you can calculate like this